and joining me is our big newsmaker, the man of the moment and the newsmaker of the day, Milin Deora, joining us live from Mumbai. Mr. Deora, should I congratulate you for your next move? Or uh, is there a lot of emotions attached to this decision? Because we have seen this on Twitter and you have said this in the same way that it is going to be with Congress with 55 years. नहीं मैं आपके अभिनंदन के लिए मैं आपको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू हां मैं भावुक हूं मैं ये मेरे लिए बहुत भावनात्मक बहुत ही बड़ा निर्णय था पचपन सालों से आधी फीसद आधी सदी से मैं सोच भी नहीं सकता हूं हाफ अ सेंचुरी से पुरानी एक रिश्ता था इस पार्टी से और मैंने जो निर्णय लिया मैंने अपने समर्थकों के लिए निर्णय लिया अपने मतदाताओं के लिए निर्णय लिया देशवासियों के लिए निर्णय लिया मेरे खुद के स्वयं के विचारधारा के लिए मैंने निर्णय लिया क्योंकि मेरी विचारधारा है कि मुंबई महाराष्ट्र भारत के लोगों के लिए कंस्ट्रक्टिव काम करना सकारात्मक काम करना जो नकारात्मक राजनीति चल रही थी किसी को गाली देना किसी जो हमारे देश के प्रधान यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री जी जब एक नीति अनाउंस करते हैं एक योजना अनाउंस करते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली उसका विरोध करना इस राजनीति में मुझे कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है मैं हमेशा सोचा था पिछले दस सालों से मेरे पास कोई पद नहीं था उसके बावजूद मैं पार्टी में लॉयल रहा हूँ लॉयल रहा था और मैं हमेशा सोचा कि पार्टी विल इम्प्रूव पार्टी अपने आप में सुधार ले आएगी लेकिन अभी तक वो कुछ हुआ नहीं है और इसलिए मुझे एक बहुत ही कठोर निर्णय लेना पड़ा आ, मैं अपने समर्थकों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ और खास करके एकनाथ शिंदे जी जो कि महाराष्ट्र के मुख्यमंत्री है आ, मैंने कई सालों से मैं उसके पहले भी उन्हें जानता हूँ वे एक बहुत ही मेहनती एक बहुत ही हार्ड वर्किंग मुख्यमंत्री है महाराष्ट्र ने शायद ऐसे हार्ड वर्किंग जमीन ग्रास रूट्स लीडर को कभी देखा नहीं होगा और मैं उनके पार्टी के माध्यम से उनकी जो विजन है मुंबई के लिए महाराष्ट्र के लिए वे महाराष्ट्र मुंबई में इन्वेस्टमेंट लाना चाहते हैं यहाँ मुंबई देश की आर्थिक राजधानी राजधानी है लेकिन मुंबई को हमें अधिक मजबूत बनाना होगा मुंबई की अर्थव्यवस्था को अधिक मजबूत बनाना होगा और उनकी जो विजन है उन्होंने भाषण में भी कहा कि वे उन्होंने मुझे पार्टी में आने का आमंत्रण इसलिए दिया कि वे चाहते हैं कि मैं भी गवर्नमेंट को गाइड करूं तो मैं पार्टी के माध्यम से उनके हाथों को अधिक मजबूत करना चाहूंगा देश की यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के हाथों को अधिक मजबूत करना चाहूंगा और और एक बार जो मेरा मेरा ओरिजिनल जब मैं राजनीति में आया था कि पॉजिटिव पॉलिटिक्स कंस्ट्रक्टिव पॉलिटिक्स में वही करना चाहता हूँ यू गो ऑन टू से The, uh, your previous party, which is the Congress party, the party you served for so many years, you, you have just said that for 10 years you were without any position or power. Uh, and, you know, you had spoken about certain decisions taken by the Congress party in the past as well, that you had expressed your concerns regarding those. Now your previous party, which is the Congress, is now saying that the timing is such that it has almost eclipsed Rahul Gandhi's Nyaya Yatra. That if you were disgruntled, you are unhappy with the Congress, you could have quit the Congress earlier. Something which was waiting to happen. I mean, I find this firstly, this just, it's unfortunate if the Congress has said that because it goes to show how entitled the Congress has become. Uh, if, if a big leader of the party is leaving, the party should be saying we should stop that leader from leaving. We should address their concerns. Instead of that, they're debating whether it was the right day or the wrong day. It's ridic frankly, it's ridiculous. I can't believe, I, I, I'm shocked that they would even say that, frankly, if they've said that. I haven't read, read these statements. I've been extremely busy. Uh, secondly, um, tomorrow is Makkar Sankranti, which in Maharashtra and Mumbai is a, a very, very important day. Unfortunately, the Congress party doesn't know about India's culture and has lost touch with our culture. But this is a day of new beginnings. When somebody wants to buy a car, a two-wheeler, a house, buy gold, buy jewelry for their home, for their family. They buy it on Makkar Sankranti. They don't do it before that. So it was an auspicious day. There was absolutely no thinking in my mind or in the CM's mind that this is a day which we should do because 
there's a yatra uh, that um, my erstwhile leader is embarking on. Hmm. So these are unfortunately, uh, th it's, it's unfortunate if they have truly, Maria said that, that we have, that, you know, millions should have chosen a better day. That just shows you how the party thinks. It's self-explanatory, frankly, how and, ridiculous it and is. And Milan, you know, you have been part of the G7, the core team of Rahul Gandhi, along with many others. Uh, you know, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Jitin Prasada and RPN Singh, of course, have quit. Uh, Sachin Pilot, Dipinder Huda were among those group of people who were very, very close to uh, Rahul Gandhi. You, uh, and, and you were part of that team which worked with him very closely, among the young ministers as well. Uh, did anybody from the Gandhi family reach out to you in the last few days when they came to know that you were on your way out? Look, these are personal issues and I've moved on from the Congress. I would not like to get into what happened um, between me and uh, the, the party leadership at a personal level. But yes, I did express serious concerns to them uh, in the last few weeks especially. Um, they appointed me joint treasurer of the party. I was told I would be, uh, I mean, uh, there are many, there are many things that, you know, I was told they want me to do, then they don't have, they didn't happen on time, then they happened in a different way. And I did express um, a, a certain regret on a few things. I did express regret about uh, the statement of Sanjay Raut, uh, who said that Congress should start negotiating in Maharashtra from zero seats. And I spoke on behalf of the Congress party. I spoke on behalf of Congress men and women across Maharashtra, not just in Mumbai. And it's, it's, I found it shocking and I found it, again, um, unbelievable, frankly, that not one leader from Maharashtra or Delhi uh, showed Shiv Sena UBT the mirror and said that, you know, who are you to talk about telling Congress to start from zero seats? Look what's happened to your party. Look what's happened to your government. Look what's happened to your MLAs, your MPs, your party name, your symbol. And that is also a manifestation of the rot, unfortunately, in the party, that the party has lost its way, um, that the party is, uh, you know, allying with an, a party that it doesn't trust, it doesn't like, it doesn't respect. I know exactly how the party feels about UBT. But yet, they've reached a stage where terms are being dictated to the Congress, a national party, by a party that doesn't have its symbol, doesn't have its name, doesn't have MLAs, doesn't have MPs. So the party has really changed a lot in the last 20 years since, I've, when I, since I entered. And um, um, uh, this is one aspect of it. This is not the only aspect of it. To me, I think this was one of the sort of, the, 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 it may have been the tipping point, but um, for a long time, I felt that we should be moving towards a more constructive agenda. We should be giving the country a constructive opposition, not just opposing for the sake of opposing. Uh, something bad happens, oppose it. Something good happens, welcome it, give suggestions on how we can improve that. Mm. That's been my politics. And I just found it suffocating. I found it toxic. And um, in many ways, I don't recognize the Congress of today as compared to what it was 20 years ago when I started it. It certainly isn't the Congress that I heard about when my father joined the party in 1968. Um, and the, I, I wish the Congress party well. I wish them well in their ideology. They were once, for me, they were the centrist party of India. They were the nationalist party of India, um, nationalistic party of India. Uh, they united India. Today, this, this is a party which is talking about a caste census. It's talking about a north-south divide. This is the party that ushered in economic reforms 32 years ago, which was a significant step in India's history to empower the common man. Today, the party is abusing businessmen who yes, were born out of that, to my next those question, economic Milin. reforms. Is, is this shrill anti-corporate stand costing Congress politically as well as denting its image? Look, I, I don't know if it's costing them politically, but I just think that it this, just this did. idea You are of, among those leaders who have quit uh, saying at, so. Attacking... No, no. I, it, to me, it's to me, it's a, it, it's a, it's wrong to do that. To me, it's wrong to say that for a party that unleashed economic reforms. For example, Dr. Manmohan Singh is a member of Parliament. He was the the, the pioneer, the steward of economic reforms in India 32 years ago. Have you once heard him naming an industrialist, attacking businessmen? Not once. 
he will attack institutional incapacities he will attack institutional problems that need to be safeguarded which is constructive politics and this is something which is unacceptable to me this is something which i find i can't imagine that the leaders of the past would do this in the congress party would make personal statements against the prime minister of india would make personal statements against any businessman against anyone there is a way to attack there is a way to hold government accountable to do it in a dignified parliamentary manner and it's 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 very sad to that a, a a party a great party once upon a time it was a great party um has gone down to the level of uh, naming people abusing people calling people names calling the prime minister names i can't imagine that and if you've seen my track record over 20 years and in the last 10 years not once have i made personal statements against anyone not once yes yeah, so you have been These extremely values i was brought up with dignified in, in your uh, politics when i was when i entered politics i was told yes i was told very clearly by my father when i entered politics that politics you should speak well about yourself about what you intend to do uh, have the confidence to talk about your own vision don't deride others this is what my father taught me on day 1 of politics and till today when i'm told when i used to be told by the party go out and abuse this person attack this person and i would reject that and i would reject going to press conferences i would always remember my late father's words mera that politics is about working with people getting things done for the sake of the city for the country it's not about being negative and abusive mera akhri sawal aap se hoga ye bhi kaha ja raha hai ki भाजपा और सेना ने आपको अश्योर किया है साउथ मुंबई सीट से आप चुनाव लड़ेंगे और इसी कारण क्योंकि वो अरविंद सावंत इंडिया ब्लॉक के होंगे कैंडिडेट इसी की वजह से आपने छोड़ा है पार्टी को नहीं दिस इज दिस इज रॉन्ग भाजपा और शिवसेना शिंदे जी के नेतृत्व में नो बडी है Eknath Shinde ji believes I should be someone like me should be in parliament he believes someone like me can work through parliament unki unka drid vichar hai ki mere jaise naujawanon ko parliament mein jana chahiye mumbai aur maharashtra ka pratinidhitva karna chahiye what is wrong in this it's a good thing if someone believes that a good person should be empowered to work that's a good thing unfortunately my party didn't believe that so uh, it's 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 a mirror to them एक और सवाल ये इमोशनल कॉल है जो आपने बोला क्या कांग्रेस लीडर्स जो सीनियर कांग्रेस कांग्रेस लीडर्स हैं वो बैडली एडवाइज्ड हैं इज द कांग्रेस पार्टी नाउ हाईजैक्ड बाय अ फ्यू पीपल इज दैट द सेंस दैट यू गॉट सी मैं 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 इस बात पर मैं इस बात पर ज्यादा मैं मैं कुछ कहना नहीं चाहता हूं बट हर 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 चीज के लिए एक हर दवा दवा के लिए एक हर क्योर के लिए भी एक एक्सपायरी डेट होता है सो टू नाउ ब्लेम समबडी फॉर गिविंग बैड एडवाइस आई थिंक दिस इज इट्स गॉन बियॉन्ड दैट आई थिंक दैट पीपल आर स्मार्ट इन द सिस्टम पीपल आर एक्सपीरियंस इनफ टू नो व्हाट इज गुड इनपुट्स व्हाट आर बैड इनपुट्स व्हाट इज राइट फॉर द कंट्री व्हाट इज रॉन्ग फॉर द कंट्री व्हाट द वोटर बिलीव इन वॉट द वोटर डजन बिलीव इन वॉट हैज बिन द ट्रेडिशनल वे ऑफ वर्किंग फॉर द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड वॉट इज अ न्यू वे ऑफ वर्किंग people understand that people have to take those calls people should be mature enough to take those calls you don't need advisors to tell you what to do have you communicate i mean i'm sure you would have spoken to jyotiraditya sindhya and others who were part of g7 of rahul gandhi who are now all in the bjp what was their feedback to you no, i i will not i i won't share i won't share who i have spoken to but uh, everyone um, in in the nda fold and in the congress fold uh have wished me their best i am grateful for their wishes um there are friendships which transcend politics transcend political affiliations and um and as i said to to each one even those who i have left behind that let's work together for a better mumbai for a better maharashtra and for a better india thank you thank you so much uh, milind deora all the best uh, for your new journey thank you for speaking to ndtv